a look at what is proposed for the Roanoke area. Well, we leave the two seats at Roanoke City as they have approximately 90,000 people, and uh, that entitles them to two delegates as they presently have. Roanoke City has had a floater with Roanoke County, but uh, this is no longer necessary. Roanoke County is big enough with the city of uh, Salem to have, share two delegates there, so we have a two-man floater seat between the city of Salem and Roanoke County. And this means then uh, possibly that Delegate Garland is, uh, is out of a seat, is that correct? Well, uh, that's one way to look at it. He can run for the seat in the city of uh, Roanoke, or he can, of course, move into the county of Roanoke, and he'd be free to run from that district.